So once you've updated your LinkedIn profile picture, banner and headline section, it's time for the next easy way to boost your profile and get noticed by recruiters at reputable brands on LinkedIn. In this video, I will teach you how to write the perfect summary for your LinkedIn about section, knowledge that I derive from LinkedIn's top voices and my own experience. Now I will start off with the first template for job seekers with no working experience and show you how to perform keyword research and style your about section using free tools. After that, you will receive the first summary example based on the template for students and recent graduates. Next up, I will show you a template and example for job seekers with experience, more specifically, a software engineer and someone who wants a career change. And at last, a template and example for sales and branding. So for self-employed, freelancers or business owners. You can check the timestamps in the description if you want to skip certain chapters. Now the LinkedIn about section, let me show you, requires a summary where you share your story, qualifications and accomplishments get people excited and reach out to you. But this open-ended blank box can be quite overwhelming. What exactly should you write about? Should this be formal or informal? Professional or more casual? Well, this LinkedIn summary template for job seekers with no experience features the most important elements for a perfect LinkedIn about section. It has a short and informative first paragraph that basically covers everything about you. It is written from a first person perspective to keep an informal character. It has a focus on the future without words like unemployed or seeking for, which also allows you to cover industry specific keywords for better searchability. You see, LinkedIn is a search engine just like Google. So before you write your summary, you first need to do some keyword research. I would highly recommend you to pick out some of your favorite vacancy, copy the job description and paste them in this word cloud. Once you click on generate cloud, you will get an overview of the most important keywords. And then you sprinkle these in your about section to become more visible on LinkedIn. Now your summary needs a value proposition. So what economic value can you bring to future employers? And then you also add an eye-catching unique selling point. So what exactly it is that differentiates you from others? And you can use the highlight section to reinforce your USB. I will show you in a minute. Now the last paragraph requires a call to action or CTA to encourage people to connect. And as you can see, you also need to break up your summary into paragraphs. That way you avoid a wall of text which makes it easier for readers to process your information and at last i would recommend you to use bold highlight text for your titles and accomplishments and preferably also some emojis to spice it up now by default you can't add bold or cursive text in the about section so you need to use this tool called unicode text converter so let's say you want to highlight your email address now you copy and paste the text in here and click on show and then you just copy your favorite style and paste it in here if you want to add emojis, you need to open the character view. Enter, for example, green. Or search for some bullet points. And double click to add them in the about section. Okay, now let me show you a LinkedIn summary example for job seekers with no experience. In this case, for recent graduates, just so you get a better idea. Now, in the first paragraph, it's important to be transparent about your current level of experience. That's why I've included words like aspiring and entry level. Now, these also allow me to enter the job title and industry keywords I want to be found on. Now, I've also looked into the word clouds generated results, and I've noticed some important soft skills that someone with no working experience and a little bit of creativity could merge with the value proposition, just like I did here. So in the next paragraph, I would like to share some of my results so far. And I've tried to quantify these if possible, because measurable results make things more significant. Okay, and then you need to inform the reader what makes you tick, what excites you, and try to combine it with some relevant software tools and a unique selling point, just like I did here. Now my unique selling point is reinforced by specifically this sentence in the highlight section. I've also included an interest section. You see, LinkedIn is in comparison to, for example, your resume, a bit more informal. Now, especially when you don't have any experience, you can use this section for a cultural fit. And at last, convey some positive energy, willingness to connect and call to action. Now, if you're a student, you can actually use the same template, except for the first paragraph. You could write something along the lines of third year computer science student, future professional web developer with three years of experience in database administration and website design. My passion for web space development brought me to university name where I'm working on my bachelor's degree. Okay, now that brings us to the next template for job seekers with experience. And as you can see, the first paragraph is a bit different. And I've included a hard skills section so recruiters can see your most important skill set 
right away. I've also removed the personal interest section as it becomes less relevant once you've got some experience under your belt. But you see, it's not all set in stone. It's perfectly fine to add some of your interests, but try to keep it short and concise. So if you like reading, then add some of your favorite books. Or maybe you like watching Netflix. Then tell the reader which Netflix series you binge watched. Now this is how you write a LinkedIn summary example for job seekers with experience. The first paragraph is pretty straightforward. Now instead of hard skills, I've put technical skills to be a bit more precise. You can formulate a sentence like I did here or just sum up a few important ones. As for your professional highlights, write down some parts of your work experience that exemplify your USP. So specifically your ability to perform certain tasks. Again. Try to make it measurable and keep the number of passwords and adjectives like expert, strategic, experienced, etc. to the minimum, unless you back it up with data or proof. Now, if you're someone with a previous career, but want to switch into another market or industry, then you need to show that your skills are transferable or make up some sort of narrative that makes the sudden career change seem logical. So the whole structure stays the same, but in the first paragraph, I would like to use the word aspiring, followed by the keywords I want to be found on, and briefly mention that you've pivoted your career. Okay, so that brings us to the next template for sales and branding. So in the first paragraph, you need to hook the reader with the sales pitch. Let your target group know about your value proposition and include a call to action, because you need to convert profile views into something tangible as soon as possible. Now in the second and third paragraph, you inform the reader about the who, what, and why questions. So who are you? What is your background? Why you or your product? Product. Let your target audience know about a solution to a common problem and which product, services or skills can help them reach their objectives. Now you need social proof to actually convince them and this is really important. Let me tell you why. When you, for example, want to buy a product online, you also look at the reviews, right? Now this works exactly the same. Let them know about, for example, the number of happy clients where your articles have been featured or include some testimonials from happy clients. I think you get the picture or maybe you don't. So let me show you my own LinkedIn example. The format and structure is basically the same. I've included my website in the beginning, bold highlighted the value proposition using Unicode and included a call to action. I used my educational and career background to build a narrative, a story to make people curious about my tips and tricks so they can also land jobs at Fortune 500 companies. So the viewers, you guys are target group number one and target group number two are sponsors or advertisers that want to use my channels for content outreach. And at last, I've included some social proof that my viewers actually landed jobs at big firms. Now, if you're curious about how others view your about section, go to settings and privacy, visibility, and then click on edit your public profile. I think that looks really good. All right, now I'm actually really curious about your summary. Let me know in the comments down below and add me on LinkedIn if you want me to check it out. Other than that, I hope you found this video helpful. And if so, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like these. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.